a high voltage transmission line with a resistance of 0 0.3 kilo, uh, per kilometer carries a current of 1040 amps. The line at, is at a potential of 660 kilovolts at the power station and carries the current to a city located 160 kilometers from the station. What is the power loss due to the resistance in the line? And what fraction of the transmitted power does this loss represent? So in this, we're, giving, we're not given resistance directly. We're given resistance per unit of length. So we're given the resistance per kilometer. And so if we just multiply that by kilometers, so we, we're given basically a resistance per delta x, and we just multiply that by delta x. And they're already in the same unit. So it's in, it's in units of kilometers here, and it's in units of per kilometer here. So you just do 0. I'm sorry, 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.3 ohms of resistance per one kilometer, and you multiply that by the 160 kilometers, and your kilometers will cancel out. And ultimately, you should get a resistance uh, equal to uh, 48. Now, the definition of resistance, resistance is equal to um, de delta V, so the change of voltage through the resistor over the current. And because all of our definitions for power uh, re require us to know delta V, we need to find delta V as it goes through the resistor. So we take uh, delta V is equal to R resistance times current. And so we can find delta V as R times I. So you would take your 48 uh, ohms and multiply that by the 1,040 amps. And you would get that delta V, delta V through the resistor is equal to uh, 49,920. 49, and there are three ways you can solve at this point for the power loss. So it's equal to I times delta V, which is equal to delta V squared uh, divided by the resistance, which is equal to, um, oh, in this sheet I actually didn't need to know uh, what delta V was, which is equal to I squared times the resistance. So this one you didn't actually have to solve for delta V. Um, but e all of those are going to give you the same uh, thing when you plug them in. The thing you want to keep in mind is make sure you're all in, you're in SI units for everything, and you should get a power loss of Five, one nine, one six eight zero zero, and so fifty one million watts. And now it wants to know what percent of the total. So what was the total power that could have been transferred uh, through the line? And that's equal to um, R. Or I'm sorry, not with R, because R means we would lose power. So we just use any of these equations. We could take I times, not delta V, but I times V. And V, uh, it says the line is at a potential when it leaves of 660. So I times 660, make sure you turn it to 1,000, 660,000. So you would take 1040, 1040, times it by 660,000. And that would be your total power, put total power. And when you divide that, or you divide the, fra the power loss, so power loss divided by total power, that'll give you your percent. And it should be uh, 7.564. 7 All right, you guys know what, exactly what time it is. It's time for me to say thank you and tell you exactly how you can ask me questions down at the bottom of the blog. Not the bottom of YouTube comments, at the bottom of the blog in the comments. I check the blog more often than I check YouTube. If you don't know where my blog is, just go to the com the about section on this video on YouTube and click the link.